everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I am your host Rocky2815 And today is hashtag Overlord Day Because today, exactly two or three years ago in Ninjago episode 20 of the Stone Army We were introduced to the one of the greatest villains ever seen in Ninjago known as the Overlord So I'm doing... Of course, a Lego Ninjago set review, or rather a Jitsu review, which are basically the new Spin Jitsu spinners. Um, I was going to do Zane, because I got Zane after winning a contest by Ryan David from the Iron D show, but I can't find the special t-shirt that I bought off of them. So, instead I'm reviewing a Jitsu Flyer 70743 Moro, who is the main villain for Lego Ninjago Season 5 Possession. So, oh, also, another reason why I'm doing Moro is because it's Halloween month, so expect more Halloween themed videos on the way. Anyway, let's go to the close up. Okay, everybody, we are going in for the close-up look of Moro. And also, this is me from the future once more, because for some odd reason, the actual review of the Ajitsu Flyer footage uh, got deleted. Along with me actually uh, showing off how the Flyer works and the outro, but I've refilmed those already, so I have to refilm this again. But anyway, <laughs> on with the... Spooky uh, paradox time thing. So anyway, we got our Moro figure here. His legs are translucent, along with his head. I believe they are possibly glow in dark. I'm not sure. As you can see, he's wearing his green robes with Lloyd's little symbol on there. Because season five is called Possession for a reason. That's the Lego Ninja Go TV show. It's because Moro wanted to be the Green Ninja's kid, but Sensei Wu said, No, you're not the Green Ninja. He went off somehow, became cursed like this, and basically possessed Lloyd's body for nearly the whole season. But let's take off his hair and his little ninja mask to reveal... A creepy laughing face. Ha 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 ha. But overall, the figure is very nice. Great printing on the back and the front. I meant to say front, then back, but never mind. So I love how the printing continues down actually onto the translucent legs. I don't think we've ever had that in a Lego figure before, so. Very pleased with that. Now, on to his accessories. First of all, we got this sort of spear thing, which is made out of one, a Harry Potter wand rod piece in black. And then these sort of, what I would imagine to be used for Lego unicorn, uh, like horn, dr actually I think they're used for Lego drills as well, uh, pieces in the, uh, for a, Fluorescent green. I can't talk English today. Um, these black hook pieces also are old style black sword. And why I say old style is because this particular Lego sword mold has been around for actually ages, ever since the Johnny Thunder Lego. If anybody can remember that, Ooh, long time ago. His second accessory is what appears to be a ghostly dagger made out of a telescope piece, another one of these drill unicorn horn pieces, and also a one by one round stud. Also, we have got a translucent green spider. We have got two golden shurikens, not the shurikens ice, because the only one who can possess the golden weapons being, well, this particular golden weapon being the Shuriken's Ice is Zane the White Ninja of Ice, or as we know him now, Zane the Titanium Ninja. 
still controls ice though. Also, Sensei Wu, Sensei Garmadon, and I presume Sensei Wu and Sensei Garmadon's father as he, the first, who was the first Binjutsu master who actually created Ninjago plus the four golden weapons. Also, we have got this little Wolverine claw piece. And I just realised there's meant to be two of them, but for some odd reason I have only got one out. Probably because I lost the other one somewhere, but never mind. So, I'll see you for the next part where we will be testing out, oh, almost forgot, the flyer. And this is what the base handle looks like with two glow-in-the-dark katanas on the side, along with, again, a possessed Lloyd dragon symbol. And also, this is the pod that he goes in. You just sort of twist it like this, and it comes out of the green... Sorry for the sudden cut, there's the camera dropped, and then the pod's here, and he goes in this little black piece, you can see the two, well, the one by two gap there where he will fit in, but anyway, once again, sorry for the drop of the camera, but... It's very hard to record this once again, but also Doctor Who is on tonight, which I will be watching. So, anyway, on to the next part of the video, where we will be flying the Ejutsu Flyer. Everybody, I've got the Ejutsu Flyer all set up now, and we are going to fly him in. Three, two, one, ninja, go! didn't go very high. We're going to try three times, so. Three, two, one, ninja, go! That was a bit higher, but let's try one more time. Now, the reason why I'm being a bit more quiet is I already recorded this, but for some odd reason, the footage of me doing the spinner flying is missing, so I re-recorded it with my mother's downstairs watching Strictly Come Dancing, one of her favourite programmes, so three, two, one, ninja, go! That time, it hit the ceiling. So that's good. Anyway, of course, as this is in the future when I, I'm trying to edit stuff. Back to the past! Woo okay everybody, I'm back for the outro. And, uh... This is me from the future, once more, because... For some odd reason, this footage accidentally got deleted of me doing the outro, so anyway... <clears throat> Thank you everybody so much for watching this Hashtag Overlord Day special video. And also, just to let you know, if you are looking to purchase Moro here, he only comes in this form, in his uh, proper ghostly form, in two sets. Well, one Ejitsu Flyer, being the one I just reviewed, Moro's Ejitsu Flyer. Uh, sorry about shaky camera angle. Um, also, he only appears in the set Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, which is £100. I am not sure about in the States, but also the other version of Moro where he is possessing Lloyd's body, you can get in the Moro Dragon Attack and the City of Sticks set. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching, remember to leave a like, favourite, share, subscribe, and until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and byzies. Hello everybody, this is Moro. <coughs> I'm here today to speak to you about this hashtag Overlord Day. Now, it's very good and all, but... Why isn't there no hashtag Moro Day? Well, I haven't been around this long, true, but 
there is one hashtag that I want to come true for me and my fellow ghost army. Well, they're not my ghost army anymore because I relinquish all evil with my dying breath, or rather, second dying breath to Sensei Wu. So, my simple request is, you go to Twitter and other social media pages and tweet out, Hashtag Bring Back Morrow. I want to be back in the next season of Lego Ninjago. Or the season after that. But they brought back Pythor. They brought back the Overlord. And now it's my turn. Even though they were around for longer than me, I still deserve a chance to be brought back. So go. Now, mere mortals, go and do hashtag bring back morrow.